I'm making two smaller turkeys, one that's spatchcocked or butterflied, and it'll cook a little quicker than the traditional one mm -hmm. that Katie's made. These are like two 10-pound birds. And what I like about this is this one we're going to carve up and eat. This one we're going to put whole on the table. And if we get to it, we carve it. If we don't, it's perfect for leftovers. That's right. And it's a great centerpiece. I also want to say that for everybody at home, a lot of people don't have an oven that fits a 20-pound mm -hmm. turkey. That's right. This is a perfect solution yeah. and one that I think you're going to love. So if you're using fresh turkeys, which we are today, mm -hmm. uh, make sure you take them, get them out and make them room temperature for about two or three hours. Frozen, you want to get them in at least two to three days yep. and thaw them in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. For every five pounds, you need 24 hours. Yes, so it's a, it, people don't give enough time. Okay. Yeah. I am going to make, it's a two-part rub. First rub is a dry brine, okay? okay. And I'm going to give Big you fan. half, and we're going to oh, have good. like a little uh, turkey off here. Okay. <laughs> okay, cracked pepper, granulated garlic powder, celery salt, mm. Love and the granulated salt. garlic. Oh, smell that. Onion, onion. powder? Oh, mm -hmm. onion powder. Smell. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna put that right there. And we're gonna toss, toss. Oh, wow. You can do this whatever you want. You can do this the day before. All this stuff can be done. And I'm gonna give half to Katie. And then basically, we're gonna get in there with your hands and okay. rub, rub, rub everywhere on this turkey. Use up all of it. From really important. From on the important. inside, too? Inside, outside, underneath. Really important. This is gonna go into the refrigerator overnight. And, and these are dry, padded dry. Yes. And it's going to make the flavor uh, so much better. And it's almost like, you know, it's a cure, almost you're curing it, like, yeah. a, like a brine. I personally do not brine a wet brine. I like dry brine, just like this. I'm the same. It's just a mess to do the wet brine. OK, I'm going to wash my hands. And I noticed you left the breastbone into your butterfly or spatchcock, yes. which is So I you can have your flavor. butcher do this. If you want to go to foodnetwork.com, you can get all the, the way to do this. Both of these oh, are going to yeah. go in the fridge overnight, uncovered. Uncovered. So you want to have nice that salt is going to dry out the skin and make it even crispier. We like a crispy skin. Yeah, so much. So many times it's not crispy enough. I'm team crispy. Oh. So when you spatchcock okay. it like that, more surface area to get nice yeah. and roasted. OK, are you ready? I'm ready. No, okay, so I'm not. Can I have a couple more minutes? Put me in, Coach. Put me in. All right, so. We're on Thursday. Thursday. We're going to make a wet marinade. First, let me take these out and show you what they look like. Here's the spatchcock one. Mm -hmm. See, that skin is dried out. It's right. OK. Taut. It's taut. Taut. Uh, and he, oh, isn't that beautiful? And beautiful. what I love about these birds is like it's such a manageable size. I think everybody at yeah. home is going to say. Ten pounds. It's ten pounds. It's still probably feed eight people, right? Easily. Okay. So we're going to make a wet marinade. Lemon zest. Shallots. I'm going to make half for you, Katie. Okay. Two. Um, parsley, tarragon, thyme, oregano. All right, and then olive oil. Put that over there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make it just so you have enough to make it a paste. Did I say, is it a paste? Okay, it's yeah. just a paste. Okay. If we need more, we'll add more olive oil. Now, notice yeah. there's no salt in here because I already have a real nice coating yeah. of salt in both of these birds here. Okay. And by doing that dry brine, the salt soaks down into mm -hmm. the meat. So it's not just salty on the skin, it's salty all the way through. OK, so these birds are room temperature. Very important. They're yeah. out for about at least an hour room temperature. And Katie, are you ready? Mm-hmm. And we're going to do the same thing, a nice bath of these beautiful herbs and olive oil. Mm. Oh, get that lemon in there. GZ, do I put it in my roasting pan? Put it in your roasting pan, and we're going to put it in the oven. Let's get some inside here. That's a happy bird right there. A happy yep. bird here. You're doing it justice. I mean, okay, she has in the roasting pan. I have in my roasting pan the same thing. Carrots, <laughs> onions, some fennel. It's not a, not a recipe, per se. It's vegetables Wash to get them. you a nice juice and have this bird sit on the top so it sits on top and doesn't roast on the bottom. OK, I'm going to wash my hands also. We have our oven preheated to 400 degrees. OK. 400. OK, I'm going to wash my hands. So you don't, you're not going under, like, the breast skin no. or anything like that, no? Don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. No. OK, okay Katie's going to stuff her bird uh, with some lemons and fresh thyme. Oh, good. Be very simple here. You don't have to use a lot of in the stuffing, really. Okay, Katie's finishing up with some okay. chicken stock. So, GZ, there's no roasting rack in here. No, just really? like that, on the vegetables. That's, That's your rack. It's a natural yeah. rack. It's and when they caramelize yeah. and they get all uh, incredibly I think I like that it's better. Fantastic. I like this. All right. That stuff to wash. While she's right? finishing it up, I'm going to take my, look how beautiful that is, right? I'm going to put it on my vegetables, same vegetables, on a flat pan, no wine, and then we're going to take a race to the 
Awesome. Me too. You ready? Well, don't run, guys. Let me get that for you. <laughs> this is oh. heavy. There's no running with this. All right, I'm going to put mine in the top. All right, here. There you oh. go. Gee, it's oh. Oh. Here, I'll get that. OK, so. Uh, Oh, like a glove. Look at that. About uh, about two hours at 400 degrees. And the one, the one on top is going to take a little less time because it's spatchcocked. Mm -hmm. Can I also point something yes. out about your spatchcock, right, yeah. not to destroy yeah. the heat? But look at the the, the yeah. real estate this is yes. taking up. That's you could fit two saying. more racks yeah. in there. Whereas if you put a whole bird in your oven, chances you are go. you're not getting anything else in that oven. So That's you have right. to re remember, so I like to cook it about two, two and a half hours at 400. But remember, it's all about temperature. 155 degrees, the internal temperature of the thickest part of the thigh. That baby will be perfect, and it needs to rest for one hour. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. OK, so a little trick of resting. I take my whole bird, and I rest it on one of these reusable oh, aluminum, pan. aluminum pans that you can use again. That's yes, right. And you don't waste aluminum foil. No. Look at you, you being Look parsimonious. Look at you, parsimonious. Oh. 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 OK, so we're going to make it look pretty. OK? Don't touch. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> we're going to make it look pretty. Right, and that goes. OK, push it in okay. there. Right. This, is, this is the turkey for the gram. That's right yeah. in the, the middle gram. of the table. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Hey, why don't you show everybody mm -hmm. where you, the thickest part of the thigh is? A lot of people get. Uh, yeah, thickest very, part of the thigh. Right here. Right. Like right in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And not on the bone, yeah. too. So here sure. we have the spatchcock, and I'm going to carve oh, this. Look how gorgeous. Oh, okay. Gorgeous. All right, Katie. Gorgeous. All that spatchcock. work. Turn okay, let's that get around. Look yeah. how pretty mm -hmm. she is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get that here. All right. Now, uh, just going to take it apart by taking. Watch how easy this is, right? Yeah, my mom. And mouth. this is what I love about the spatchcocking. It's so easy. It just pulls mm -hmm. apart. What was Isn't that oh, beautiful? Juicy. Juicy. Mm -hmm. And I take a board. I use a board Crazy. with grooves to catch all that broth. Mm -hmm. I have that okay. groovy board. I'm gonna go over here. And when you're planning how to cook your turkey and your timing, be sure that you plan that extra hour to let it rest. Mm -hmm. It's so important. The resting is important. If, if you're you're worried about temperature. I always say that's what hot gravy is for. And really, the temperature doesn't go down so much to where you feel like you're eating cold meat. No, exactly. I'd rather juicy and warm than hot and dry. I totally agree. So this gravy is made out of those pan drippings. This is only the pan drippings that I've reduced and reduced and reduced. There's no oh, ruin there. flour. Is it like no an ruin. immersion blender? You blended it or something? No, none, none whatsoever. So I'm just going to take this off the bone. Oh, look at that grave. Mm. I'll drink it. It is so good. It's so yeah. shiny. That's how you know, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's bouncy. All right. You can never have too much gravy. Mm. Katie Lee loves her gravy. Yes. She loves her gravy. So what you get when you cut it off gravy. the when you cut it off the bone, you get the real the juiciness stays. It mm -hmm. doesn't get dry. And when you cut it really thin, after a few seconds. Air gets to it. it. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Come on now, we ready, Jeezy. Come mm. on. Please, sir. Jeffrey. That is one juicy turkey. Well and all the flavor of those herbs really infused it. Got into that gravy. Oh, it's so good. It's so delicious. 